let's get some real coffee. Hey, what's up guys? It usually just starts with me at a coffee shop and I take my coffee and I take off, right? We're actually gonna feature coffee shops a little bit more. Uh, right now, I'm at Grind Coffee. I'm meeting up with Seams or Maybe some of you know her on social media as RGV Seams. We're gonna be vlogging together and checking this place out. We're in Edinburgh, Texas. Grind is on University Drive, practically next to UTRGV or whatever it's called now. Man, these guys have been open for a while. I've been trying to make it over here, but it's just so not in my route and my daily routine but I had to make it over here eventually. I'm a big coffee drinker, not a coffee expert, but I love coffee and I do appreciate a good cup of coffee, especially premium coffee. There's like this fly going around. Again, this is my first time coming in here, so let's see. People love them on Yelp. Business hours. Welcome to time. Like I said, today we're teaming up with Seams. Hello. How can they follow you on social media? Um, I'm the RGV Seams on Instagram and the RGV Seams on YouTube and then Seams Fuentes on Facebook. For those who don't know, Seams is in a punk band. Oh, multi-talented. Yeah. So multifaceted. Check her band. Future Wives? So yeah, Future Wives. Future Wives. And on Instagram with Future Wives RGV. Follow us on that. Oh. Can I get a baby latte? A baby latte? It's my, my problem is it's like the most ironic thing of all time. I can't really have a lot of coffees. I get like a lot of anxiety. You spoke about that in one of the yeah. vlogs, right? I saw oh, it. My one view. It's like torture because I come and visit him and I'm like, coffee? And he's like, no, not today. Dude, my thing is I have to have coffee like every day, bro. The only days I don't have coffee is when I'm off and I don't need the kick. Yeah. But it's like, I have like this whole little system. Like I start my day on Monday, right? Monday I'll have just like a regular cup of coffee and it'll do the trick. The next day, if I have that same regular cup of coffee, it might do the trick, it might not. So then I'll get a larger cup of coffee. Oh, I see. The next day, I'll add a shot. And by the fourth day, I'm off and then it starts again. Caffeine is a drug. I can do like half a shot and I'm like, yeah, and I'll like, like my vision will get weird and I'll like sweat because I don't Yeah, if it. you don't need it. I eat a lot. So you've always been a coffee person? I've always loved coffee since I was little. I mean, I started drinking coffee when I was like six with my grandparents. Yes, that's you know, what I was gonna say. It was with my grandpa. With, like you would put the marias, yes, in the, and then you would crunch them and then you would eat them, and it was delicious. We, time. we would go to like like little restaurants in Reynosa with my grandpa, and then over there you order like a basket of of like pan dulce. And then they put it on your table, which is not, it's cool, but at the same time, now that I think of it, they only charge you for what you eat and what you don't eat. They would put it back in there and serve it again to somebody else. But, yeah. uh, but oh, yeah. good times, dude. Like, yeah, that's, sure. I remember being also like a little kid. And, Where are you? And Where's your family from? Mm, they're everybody's from Reynosa, Tamaulipas. Oh, okay. Too. It's crazy because I was telling her a story of how I found out about Seams. Uh, she kept popping up on my social media with her band and everything. And I was like, well, why do I keep seeing her? And it turns out that she is uh, the sister of a really good friend, Silos, if yeah. you're watching. Pizza Does he watch? Do you watch his or no? I don't know. I haven't really talked to him Bro, about vlogging. I think he watches mine because he subscribes. This is, so this is a latte with one shot, baby. One shot. Does it have flavors? Vanilla? I'm excited. Pretty that is. Bro, you know what? I'm a very straight up coffee guy. Get a handful. Like a pour over or what? So what do you what do you got? Uh right now we have Brazil Fazendo and it's chocolate notes, earthy. That's very common of South American coffee. Have that on pour over if you want. I'd probably go with V60 method for that. Let's do it. I trust you, bro. Are you gonna try a cronut? A what? A cronut. It's a mix between a croissant and a donut. So it has like all the layers of a croissant, but then the deep the name. fry it cronut. They're Delicious. Exclusively. Exclusive. How often do you vlog, dude? Since I just started, I was kind of doing it every day. Dude, I started every day. It's, no. Uh, it's too much work. I did it for a good uh, two weeks, but then editing was what was kicking my butt. It was just like That's my, what my brain couldn't compute. Like, okay, after a full day of work, go home and edit for two hours. Like, I couldn't do it. But right now, I'm just taking it really easy, releasing like 
two weeks later what I've been doing. But why, why did you start vlogging? A lot of things that are going on around us are really exciting and really cool and are worth sharing and I feel like a lot Sometimes of people aren't sharing. Attention. Especially because right now I'm working in PR, but even when I wasn't. Um, I meet yeah. every single day. I meet people like yeah. you know, like you. You're mm -hmm. doing something really cool mm -hmm. that other people haven't done, or that other people have done, but you're doing it in your own way. Mm -hmm. And I think like it's really important to support each other. And I just thought vlogging was like the easiest way of like, I meet 20 people, you get to see them too. And also because I have a really bad memory. Just go back to the footage. Oh, that day was so cool, and then I appreciate it. Grind Coffee is the baby child of myself and Marianne Pignon. We both worked at Jitters. We learned a lot of stuff from that place. We just got to the point where we wanted to do our own thing. Uh, we have, we're gonna have two years in March. We're located in Edinburgh next to UTRGV. That was uh, my doing. I really wanted a coffee shop near UTRGV. At the time, Pan Am, I just remember like when I would go there, always thinking like, why isn't there a coffee shop? Here. I would drive all the way to Moonbeams, I would drive all the way to Jitters. And can, can you kind of like talk a little bit about your personal journey like with coffee? Similar to you guys, it's always uh, the grandparents who really baby you and then you're like give me that and your parents say no but the grandma's like here you go. You start off with your Folgers you know with full sugar, a lot of milk, a little bit of coffee but still I think that develops your palate you know. Have a good one guys. Honestly I will attribute a lot to Jitters. I lived a block away. It started with the Oreo latte, man. A lot of people bash blended drinks for coffee like fraps and all that, but you have to understand that's a very great introductory introductory tool for people that aren't coffee aficionados. But yeah, uh, with the Oreo latte, I just remember like after a while just wanting to cut the middleman. I want just the coffee and then you slowly develop that until it's just shots of espresso that you drink and you can actually break down notes, different shape like between different origins and no one just starts drinking a shot of espresso and like this is yeah, my yeah, deal, yeah. you know? We are known for our cold brew. Uh, you got visual of the towers right here. A lot of people do it but I feel like we just really like went running with it and we realized how awesome that was. It, even just having the towers have, makes it look like a little chemistry lab here. We also take that step above and then we infuse it with nitrogen so it takes the same premise as a guinness it's cold brew nitrogen it looks like a stout that's pretty cool visually it's really cool and also taste wise i'm very caffeinated right now Yes, bro. My brother's into coffee. I would say he likes coffee. Yeah, he's into more. coffee. Into everything. And pizza. And pizza. And food. And beer. Coffee. Me and my wife, she doesn't do coffee, dude. She like tries. It. She tries. Like I tell her, like our marriage would be rock solid if only you drink coffee. Wow, you're like, Not that it's bad. And we have a local celebrity joining us today, Miss yeah. Linda Crystal. <laughs> Her video's racking up views already at 3.4, might be 3.5 already. K views. <laughs> and she's not drinking coffee, Whoa. So it seems, what's up with the event? What are you guys playing again? Uh, the next time we play is at the end of February. I can't, I can't tell you the date because it's an album release and they don't want us to share that, but end of February, a Yerberia. And then we're also playing Dreams. So I don't know if you guys have heard of Dreams, it's a pretty cool festival that they do at Yerberia. They just asked us, so that's March 16th, I believe. We're gonna be playing Dreams, and I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'm, I'm I've been feeling the caffeine for like the past 20, 30 minutes, and I'm trying to keep like the camera steady for like stuff that I'm doing. <laughs> it's not working. To tripods. We checked this place out. It's awesome. It's everything I dreamed it would be. And after almost two years, I was finally able to come and check it out for myself. 
and uh, it's good, man. If you're into like premium coffee, different kinds of espresso based, right, drinks, hit this place up. If you're in Edinburgh, they're right next to UTRGV. This is the place that you, you guys have Wi Fi, right? They have Wi Fi. Yeah. Thanks for checking it out. Like, subscribe. Uh, we're gonna share Grind's social medias down there on the, on the bottom, so check them out. And follow Seams. Uh, Seams, thanks for teaming up with me. Thank you for having me. Follow the me. Seams. Like my stuff. The new Pefas. This just friends. happens. They just meant for the first time. I know. <laughs> she already knows my life. We're, we're done. done. Yeah, we're all two, we're like holding <laughs> each other. <laughs> yeah. Keep it together. We tried um, the espresso, it was good. <laughs>